Hello, Paul here, and I want to show you how you can make a phone stand like what you see here. This Adobe phone stand for whatever phone you want, and you're going to do it all in Photoshop, which is what I'm in right now. Uh, notice as I turn off that layer, here is uh, the phone stand, a basic one with a representation of a phone inside of it. Okay, so notice how I have that 3D layer selected, and I can open up the 3D panel. Now, what I want to do is I want to select the current view. Okay, with the current view selected, I can start to pan around and just get a good idea of what this looks like. So overall, this is an iPhone 6. Okay, so I actually want to just turn that off because I really want to just view this phone stand. And how was this made? It's really as simple as, you know, in this case, you know, selecting any sort of shape, whether it's a heart or whatever, drawing something, any vector shape, and then extruding it. And that's how you can obviously make a shape just like that. I'm going to delete that layer because that's already in place. That's what the stand is. It's just that shape that's been extruded. But what if you want to edit it? Because quite frankly, this is not terribly exciting. Well, uh, with that stand selected, going into the properties panel, click edit source for that layer. And this is my phone stand. So if I decide I want this area in here to be wider, well, then it's just a matter of, you know, making it wider by adjusting those points like that. Okay. Or curving it out, making sure the balance is right, all that good stuff. But you have full control over that. In fact, you could do some fun things because I'm going to even show you this layer right here, this fun bike layer. So if you really into biking, whatever the case may be, I'm just showing you that it could be any shape. Color doesn't matter because that's all going to depend on uh, the material you print in. Okay, so I'll just change it to this bike just for fun, closing it. There it is. And again, rotating it. And there's that fun image still working for that iPhone. And you have that shape working for you. You could do more with it as well. And what I've done is I've uh, extruded some additional shapes. So you have this little bubble right here and then even some text, okay? Away from keyboard is what that stands for. And again, customized phone stand, doing what you want with it. In fact, if I wanted to edit this text right in here, hitting edit source, whatever you wanna write, give it to someone as a gift, you have that capability. So really it's just about creating a shape that has that slot for a phone, making sure it has that balance Okay, and then printing it out. In terms of printing it out is go to 3D down to 3D print settings. Chances are you might not have a 3D printer. Well, you don't need to worry about that because right over here, notice how my scene has changed, but you can see Shapeways or Sculptio, okay? Selecting Shapeways and a multitude of different materials from brass to ceramic to plastic to steel. Chances are you're gonna wanna use a plastic. Okay, so I can go with the coral red if I want to. But the thing is, is you could always change it later. So I'm gonna select that coral red. Notice how it changes to red. I can click this button right down here to print it. And it will make those three objects one solid object and repair all those meshes. And keep in mind, this is actually a, a solid shape. So there's a certain amount of material that's being used there. And we need to consider the size of it because those two things determine the price, which we'll see in a second. All right, so there it is. There's the phone stand. You can see it right here and we can zoom in on it. A couple things are going on. First of all, uh, notice that it's mostly green, which is good, but there's some blue in there, which means the walls are thickened. So if you have parts that are really thin, then it needs to thicken it there, as you can see. But all in all, looks pretty good. Now, this is a solid shape, so it's about... Uh, two inches by three inches by maybe another three inches and it's solid material so it's quite large and that's why it's $59 okay uh, just so you know the iPhone stand that I showed earlier was only uh, about $20 but in general the idea here would be to thin this up that extrusion but you can always do that later either way can export out that particular STL file, locate it, and upload it to Shapeways as I'm doing right now. While that's happening, I'm going to click back over and I'm just going to show you how you can change the extrusion uh, for that particular shape. So uh, for the stand, it's the extrusion depth right over here. Instead of it being one inch, maybe I want to go a half of an inch. All right, so let's take a look. 
sure enough, uh, here is the phone stand. So really, it's just a matter of even changing your mind. You don't have to go with the red color. You can go with any color, any material. You select it on the Shapeways site and then uh, submit it, and it will be sent to your house when it's ready.